On the campus of Boston College University, it's time to begin a new season of UTSA Roadrunner football. And this season starts on the road against the number 16 Eagles in the Battle of the Birds. The Roadrunners are coming off their second straight 8-5 season in the Big 12 and they won the Texas Bowl. The challenge for them this year is to get things on track defensively. There are true freshman starters, including Corey Zmolik, their top recruit from this past offseason, and replacing an entire linebacking core with players we don't know much about. The senior Cedric Parker is a speedy, rangy, undersized linebacker, while Andrew Ross is 6'7 and is more of a run stopper. Keith Cowan is a more well-rounded linebacker, good size, speed, and all-around ability. Then in the secondary, I can't wait to see one of the top recruits, KJ Marseille from Austin, Texas, who chose UTSA over the Longhorns. He'll be at corner along with Nick Dorsey, a first-time starter. At the same time, the reliable kicker James Benson has graduated and now the true freshman Keith Combs has big shoes to fill. Quarterbacking this team once again will be Jacoby Criswell but he will have a new backup as Bob Young has transferred away from UTSA and will be the starting quarterback for the Cincinnati Bearcats this season who lost a lot of their quarterbacks a couple off seasons ago. We will meet Bob Young and the Bearcats in a season finale in prime time late in the season. I can't wait for that game. UTSA put together a much better recruiting class this past offseason, but most players will be redshirted. You'll see Corey Zmolik, you'll see KJ Marseille, but no other freshmen are being rushed along into early playing time. We'll see these players in due time, but there are a lot of senior starters on this roster, including the new linebackers. So a year from now, you're going to see a completely new linebacking core again. But this season gets underway against Boston College in a challenge against one of the nation's top quarterbacks, All-American Phil Jerkovic. Star receiver Zay Flowers has already moved on, and there are a lot of young receivers that Jerkovic is hoping to help develop this year, and they'll have a matchup against the tough Roadrunner secondary. It's a great matchup to open the season, and we are ready to get underway. Boston College has deferred to the second half. Welcome to a new season of Roadrunner football. It's Deshaun Washington on the return for the Roadrunners. Solid run back. He replaces Marvin Stokes, who was an All-American returner a year ago, but now a starting safety no longer on special teams. Jacoby Criswell, second-year starter for UTSA, transferred from North Carolina, 26 touchdowns a year ago, and his season starts with a completion. It's caught by Joe Wright. And with Darren Rose graduated, he is the star in this passing game. He had 997 yards a year ago, finished the season incredibly strong. First and 10, again caught by Joe Wright. He is going to have a massive role in this offense, and we got a taste of that late last year when he was the Texas Bowl MVP. They'll run for the first time now, and Vince Taylor had a great offseason. He picks up three yards. We'll also see a lot of Curtis Mills. The fake on first down, rolling out Chris Well. He's got a tight end open there. That's Curtis Davis, a gain of four. New fullback is in the game. That's Chuck Bell. Taylor follows him, first down, running downhill, getting 12 yards. Taylor hoping for a big bounce back year to close his college career. Chriswell to the air this time, and he's behind Keetron Jackson incomplete. Chris Woods now taking over the role from Darren Rose. He's wide left. This is swung out to Taylor. Can't shake the defender. He's taken down after a catch of six yards. Ball at the 24 of BC, third and four. And the catch is made. That's running back Curtis Mills in for the first time, a gain of five. Good start to the drive. Now into the red zone for the first time this year. Chriswell toward the end zone. He gets picked off. Forced it to Woods and it's intercepted. 
And Boston College will have it at the 20. Cheek just gets much better positioning. The ball was forced. And that ball security has to get better this season if UTSA is to go to that next level. Big play for the Eagle defense. Now Phil Jerkovic, the senior quarterback. He looks to take off and gets wrapped up on the play right near the line of scrimmage, but I think that was a sack. And it's Preston Quinn who has picked up 32 sacks in his two-year career. Quick start to his junior season. From the empty look, a draw play, and Jerkovic's drilled. There is Cedric Parker, number 50. And we'll see how these linebackers handle their first time playing together. Some hesitation here. Jerkovic eventually dumps it off to Taji Johnson, well shy of the marker. Not much of an opening drive there for BC. Jacoby Criswell had 18 interceptions a year ago. Already one on the season now. He floats one. Wright is there and breaks away into the open field. It's a gain of 28. This was a close play. Just out of reach for the defender, and Joe Wright makes a great catch and run. Now they have motion. This is Keytron Jackson on the sweep, and he'll get upfield for a gain of four. They'll be creative with how Jackson is used. He's a speedy gadget player. It's second down now. Chris Swell forced to his right, trying to extend things. Now he takes a chance. It's tipped, and is that caught? Joe Wright's there. They're signaling touchdown. No way. Did this ball touch the ground? Chris Wells just throwing it up. Wright's waving for the ball, and there are three defenders there. This gets deflected, and Wright does secure it. That never touched the ground. What a score, and the Roadrunners strike first. Number 52 here. He can't believe what just happened. BC had what should have been a second takeaway, and instead it's points on the board for the Roadrunners. They catch a massive break, and that's how Joe Wright scores his first touchdown of the season. On kickoff duties now, Keith Combs, the true freshman, doesn't have the same power as James Benson. This one's returnable. Decent run back. It's Xavier Coleman across the 30-yard line. Second drive getting underway for Boston College. Phil Jerkovic running the option. He has the first and then flips it. That's running back Pat Garwo, and he'll be credited with the gain of seven. More motion. Running to the right now, flip to Johnson, and Hole brings him down after a first down run. So some creative option calls here for BC. Off play action, Jerkovic protected. He's got a man open, his tight end, Charlie Gordinier. I believe that's how you say it. Media guide isn't helping me out here. Garwo on the sweep now, and he's run down. And there is the speed of Cedric Parker. That's special. Third and short. More motion. Jerkovic has the first. Looking for a block. He doesn't get it. That kept him from scoring. But it's still goal to go. Eagles looking for their first points. To the right now. Jerkovic hit down. And there is Keith Cowan. He's one of the outside linebackers. to be on field here in the nickel as well. Jerkovic is drilled on third down. He didn't get the pass off in time. It's the true freshman, Corey Zmolik, who had a free run to the quarterback. So that'll bring on the field goal team for BC. And they do get their first points. It's 7-3. to three. Meanwhile, in Tuscaloosa, Alabama just holds on. Versus Wisconsin, they will move to 1-0 just barely. 7-3 ball game. Sweep to Jackson trying to get all the way out, and it's perfectly defended. No gain. Ball still at their own 30-yard line. Pressure incoming. This pass is knocked down. Third and 10. BC's defense looking to make a play. Chriswell blitzed again. Heaves toward the sideline. This one's too far, and that is incomplete. The Roadrunners have a new punter this year as well. Number 75, Blair LaFrance. 
And his first punt looks to be returnable. This is Xavier Coleman toward midfield and going aerial with it. A gain of 13 on the run back. Good field position for Boston College. Garwo has some daylight as he runs off tackle through a couple defenders, gaining 13. I have some concerns about this run defense. Now that Kyle Jones has moved on, Sherkovic cuts it up. First down. The option is certainly giving us some fits, and that tends to happen. Off the fake. Sherkovic gets hit, and he's sacked again. And that was Preston Quinn flying in. They totally missed him on this play. He already has two sacks in the first half. Third and nine, a short throw, a nice catch well shy of the marker, and they'll bring on the field goal team again. Sophomore Kevin Downing, one for one, and this kick is good. Now a seven to six ball game. I want to see more from this offense. They had their lucky touchdown, not a whole lot else. It's Taylor to the outside and wrapped up in the open field. A gain of a couple. Offset eye again. Chriswell to throw this time. And open once again, making the grab. Joe Wright, 15 yards. Already five catches for him. And now he's in motion as Taylor gets the handoff and can't make much happen on this play. Until a receiver emerges, we'll see how much they go three or four wide. Now Mills trying to get off tackle, and he is tripped up on the play. A very short gain, and it's third and six. Three receivers in the game. Chriswell hit as he throws, and it's broken up at the catch point. That was Chris Woods, the intended receiver, and catching the football was an issue for him last year, and you have to find a way to make some plays like that. This BC defense has been really tough. The offense has done well with the option game, still trying to figure out something else as a good run from Garwo will get them nine yards. 37 on the ground for him. Third and short, and it's dumped off. That'll be a first down up to the 28. We have two minutes, 12 seconds to play in this first half. Jerkovic floats one for Williams, and that'll move the sticks. I think the offense is settling in a bit now. Jerkovic wide open, Gordinier, 18 yards. Another question I have is how will these linebackers cover the middle of the field? That's a huge question. Jerkovic scrambling outside, and he's brought down by the slot corner. That's Brandon Matthews, one of my favorite players on this defense. The fake on third and one. Jerkovic wants to do it himself. Up to the 20 and hit down by Preston Quinn. If he doesn't like it, he's going to take off, and he is a pretty good runner. 58 seconds to play. Blitz is on, and that is incomplete. Jerkovic never saw the speedy Cedric Parker. It'll be third and ten. Jerkovic complete. Dunbar slips a tackle. He's got the touchdown. Boston College takes the lead. At times last year, this team would get sloppy when it came to tackling. And that's Jason Hall going for the big hit instead of wrapping up. And now Boston College is on top with their third scoring drive of the first half. 46 seconds to go for Chris Swell as they'll blitz him. He dishes it out. Joe Wright taken out of bounds. Not much there. 41 seconds on the clock for UTSA. Chris Swell completes. And Chris Woods has the first down. That will stop the clock. Taylor in as the running back here in the two-minute drill. Chriswell again for Woods. First down, gain of 12. And that's the kind of play he needs to make consistently. New set of downs, and Chriswell connects with Davis. Working the middle of the field, three consecutive first down passes. Now 19 seconds, they are pocketing these timeouts. Now they're audibling. This is a mess. They'll spend the timeout. 17 seconds, one timeout remaining at the BC 35. Pressure coming. Chriswell escapes the pocket again, drifting outside the numbers. 
Crossbody throw cut by Joe Wright inside the five. When he's out of the pocket, he wants to know where number 18's gonna be. They're gonna hurry up. Not spending the time out yet, seven seconds to go. Chriswell to throw it, caught for the touchdown, it's Joe Wright. A quick slant and Wright has his second score. We found out late last year what happens when you run the offense through Joe Wright. He had 997 yards last season and 36% of those came in the last two games. 123 yards in their second to last game and 238 in the bowl game. And he's picking up where he's left off. And he's giving UTSA the lead right before halftime. It's been a really good game to this point, and both offenses look like a work in progress. The freestyling plays, though, to Joe Wright have made the difference, ultimately, and the Roadrunners lead this game by one. It'll be their defense on the field to start this second half as Keith Combs gets us underway, angling this kick. Gotta keep that one in bounds. Coleman outside the numbers, driving his way beyond the 30. Good run back. But don't expect to see a lot of touchbacks with Combs as the place kicker. We've seen good option play out of this offense, and when they protect Jerkovic, good passing. We'll try Garwo. He's slowed by Quinn, and here comes Jason Hall flying in. I love his style of play. He is reckless. Coleman inside, and Crenshaw is there. Two good run stops here to begin the second half. And that brings up a third and eight. Pressure sent, Jerkovic gets it out to Coleman, and he gets the block. First down into UTSA territory, it's a 22-yarder. Jerkovic waited until the last second to throw that ball. Now he's under pressure and dumps it to Garwo, and that'll go for a first down. Ball at the road runner, 25. Coleman off tackle, Ross is there. I have liked what I've seen from these linebackers so far, in run defense especially. Jerkovic's going to keep. Smolik there, can't bring him down. Gets the block on Stokes, and he scores. Touchdown, Boston College. Phil Jerkovic making the play himself here. Got a great block, though, from his receiver on that side. A couple good blocks. It is 19-14. They will go for two to try and go up seven. Caught, Witter, did he break the plane? They say no. Shy of the end zone, UTSA will be down five points. We have ourselves a good battle today. It's been fun. 19-14, now Taylor coughs up the football and Davis saves the possession. Boston College almost had the takeaway. Vince Taylor did not have a good year last season, and now his first fumble of the year. He stays in the game, though, on second down. Chris Well feels the rush. There's Alexander now, and he gets the first down. He's been a nice addition to this offense since he started playing late last year. A fake on first down. Chris Well's throw is dropped through the hands of Alexander. Again, a lot of pressure on Chris Well. Second and 10. Deep down the middle, he overthrows Joe Wright. And it's third down. This defense has been tough all day. Johnny Jenkins checks in. Empty backfield. Sacked on the play. Chris Well gets hammered. And the drive is over. They got to slide that protection over. Get that blitz picked up. Good job by Boston College. And good field position again. Jerkovic knocked down Keith Cowan. Can this defense come up with some plays now? Garwo hit down by Jason Hall. He is so quick. And now it's third and seven. Blitz coming. Jerkovic got his man. Dunbar, who had the touchdown earlier. First down. Back into UTSA territory. Jerkovic sprints right and runs it. He'll have the first down as well. Gain of 11. Finding ways to move the ball again. Garwo swarmed in the backfield. He's met initially by Cedric 
Parker, his second tackle in the backfield. Following the loss of four, Jerkovic steps up and he's hit down. Preston Quinn credited with his third sack of the day. Defense making plays, now third and long. Jerkovic completes inside the 30, but it's fourth down. We'll be looking at about a 44-yard field goal try now. Downing is two for two. On its way, and off the crossbar, no good. And the Roadrunners stay down five, and they get good field position. Actually, it's nothing special. Chris Well starting, screen Joe Wright inside. He gets the first down. They're finding all kinds of ways to use him. Two minutes to play now in the first half, and they send the house. Chris Wells going deep for Joe Wright. He makes the catch, and that's a touchdown. 60 yards from Chris Well to Wright, and the Roadrunners are back in front. They sent the zero blitz, and Chris Well had only one option on this play. Everybody else is covered. He's got to give his star receiver a chance to make a play. And he does exactly that. Wright just gets behind the defender, and he has his third touchdown in the season opener. What a start for Wright. They'll go for two. This one's knocked backwards. They had an open running back, too. Nice job there by the end. One point game. And it's Jerkovic on the keeper, trying to work outside. He's taken down by Corey Zmolik. Crowding the box on second down. Jerkovic pulls it back, wrapped up. Cedric Parker, I think he's had a fantastic debut. Seven tackles on the day. Empty on third down. Pass drop, that's Johnson, and he might have had the first down. That's a big drop. That means we're going back to UTSA. How about this start though for Joe Wright? Do they go his way here? No, they'll run it. An opening for Mills. He gets the first down and a penalty marker is thrown. There was a face mask at the end. Nice run with 15 on top of it. Already up to the 36 of BC. They'll set up a screen now. It's Keytron Jackson trying to fight forward. He gets two. Clock winding down now here in the third quarter. Chris Swell fakes. He's under pressure and throws it away. Trying to avoid those negative plays and forcing passes when they're not there. Final play of the quarter. Chris Well needs eight. Sprints to his left. Throwing downfield. Caught by Chris Woods. First down. I'll say Woods has been there in a few situations when this offense has needed him. And we are on to the fourth quarter. Roadrunners up one, looking to pad the lead. They run it, Mills cutting downhill. Gain of six. Right, alone to the right side on third down. Blitz again. Pass caught by Woods, and he will get to the end zone, and the Roadrunners extend their lead. Fourth touchdown pass from Jacoby Criswell and it's a seven point advantage for UTSA. And they will not be kicking the extra point. They want a two score advantage here on the road. Woods and Jenkins checks in, Jackson to the backfield. Taylor with him. They failed on their first try. On this one, wide open is Keytron Jackson. And the Roadrunners go up nine here in the fourth quarter. Protecting these leads is something they struggled with a year ago. Here you go, defense. It's Garwo inside. He slips a tackle and gains six. Single high safety again. Jerkovic on the quick throw. This is Dunbar taken down. Nick Dorsey with the open field stop to set up third down. And they'll run for it. This is Garwo with a stiff arm on Ross as he gets the first down. I think he's ran fairly well, but nothing spectacular. Coleman now on the sweep. Forced to cut it up. That's a great job. Zmolik playing the edge perfectly there. BC's not showing a ton of urgency here. And now 
They get called for a false start. Second and 15, Jerkovic flips it to Garwo. And he breaks tackles, hurdles over a defender and gains six. Clock running. They've been good on third down today. They need the 48 this time. It's caught well shy of the marker and it's fourth down Boston College. Down two scores. And they are sending out the punt team. How many more drives do you think you're going to get in this game? Washington misses it. I don't know if that touched him. But he goes and gathers it in, and that is a tackle at the six, and now a penalty. I don't think Coach Lindsley is going to be thrilled about that one. They're backed up at the three, and Boston College needs a stop. Mills to the outside, has room, shakes the defender, gets across the 20, and that is a 21-yard pickup, a big one, especially considering where they just were. Mills inside again maybe a couple seems like he and Taylor are getting pretty much a 50 50 split now Taylor to the outside showing good speed his best run UTSA's best runs coming on this drive from both running backs now Woods the motion man and he gets this and Chris Woods has a first down run now this is what Boston College really can't afford. 3.30 left to go. Mills met in the backfield, and they'll bring him down this time. Play clock winding down as Taylor's back in. Doesn't have much to work with here. Boston College trying to get this ball back, but the clock is running. Chriswell, third down, trying to escape, and he cannot. Timeout, Boston College. Under two minutes to go to get nine points. Boston College, two timeouts remaining. Jerkovic with time, and he's intercepted! Threw it right to Nick Dorsey, who had blanket coverage, and the Roadrunners will take over, and it looks like they're going to pick up this win here in the Battle of the Birds. He threw it right to him. One first down should do it. Chriswell dumps it. This is Jackson's turn, and he will get the first down yardage, and this game is over. What a statement for UTSA going on the road and beating the number 16 team in the country by two scores. There are a lot of things to work on coming out of this game, but a great start to the year, especially for Joe Wright. If there was any question about who the best player is on this offense, it's been answered. Joe Wright has come so far in the last two years, and he's looking like a true superstar, unlike anything this program has ever seen at wide receiver. We got lucky on that first touchdown. We should have had a couple interceptions in that first half. But I did enjoy a lot of what the offense did today, but I know that it has to be better than this. We didn't run well early in the game. And then on third down, I thought Boston College made a lot of plays early on. And outside of our backyard football plays, we didn't get a lot going in the first half. Unbelievable game for Joe Wright. He continues to ascend to superstar status. And as we check out the top 25 polls, after upsetting Boston College, welcome to the top 25 for, I believe, the first time in this series. And now the Heisman Watch doesn't seem to really have any movement here after week one. But you gotta think that after a game like this, if Joe Wright can follow it up, he might put himself in that conversation. And our next game will be at home against San Diego State. This was the, on paper, the easiest matchup I put onto the schedule. I like to have one of those just as a way to kind of get used to things and test stuff out. So I'm expecting us to play well, but the top player is an 84 overall quarterback, so we'll have that challenge and we'll see what San Diego State is all about. Next episode, we'll also talk about recruiting for the first time this year and who we're targeting early on. But here's a quick look at the top players here in the class. Last thing before I'm done for today, 
I felt like the defense had some pleasant surprises. When it came to the more traditional runs, it was hit or miss, but we were better than I expected. And I really liked what I saw from Cedric Parker. He can fly around. He is fast. And I thought today was a great showcase and hopefully a sign of things to come for him. But that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the season opener. Subscribe to the channel. There's more UTSA football coming your way soon. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.